Hey, how's everyone doing? We're back again working on the old 84 C4 Corvette. As you can see, we got her jacked up again, and we're going to uh, change the rear end fluid. But let's see, I got a couple updates, I guess. Uh, let's take a look over here. Next video was supposed to be about um, bleeding out the cooling system. I've actually forgotten my um, camera that day, but I did it. Uh, no problems. Everything went pretty smoothly. Um, we did have one issue, and that's, um, oh geez, it just flew out. Ah, my uh, Pepcock on the radiator's leaking, so I stopped at the store this afternoon, bought another one, and uh, I got to throw that in. Um, let's see, and then hopefully that's buttoned up. If not, we're going to end up getting a new radiator for the thing, but hopefully that solves the problem. It just, it's down to a little, like a tiny drip here and there. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, this new one will be able to fix that. If not, like I said, we'll have to get a new radiator. We'll find out. Um, next thing, let's see. Uh, catalytic converter had to come back off. Okay, reason why this had to come back off was when I was driving it around after I did the, uh, filled it up with coolant, um, it had a whistle when you would take off. It would go... And I, like I said, I didn't have my camera on me, so I couldn't video any of that. So I'm like, what the hell? It was actually annoying. But once you got going, it went away. And um, what I'm figuring it was, was uh, the tube that was in here. Um, I pretty much uh, cut it off, welded up. Here goes a small little slideshow of that process. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. We just tacked it up full of weld right there. She's good. I also, um, on the inside of this, I took that tube that was sticking out into the center of this thing. And basically all I did was use a screwdriver and a hammer and it broke right off. So I'm gonna throw that back on right now. Luckily, this is an easy one to do. It literally takes less than 10 minutes to throw this thing on. We're gonna get this done right here. And I bought some, uh, Lucas 80W90 gear oil for the uh, rear end and supposedly um, this already has a limited slip additive into it. So I got two jugs of this. So we're good here. Um, I have an old uh, pump to, to pump out the uh, fluid. Granted, it's brand new, but it is old. It's been sitting, if you can see all the dust on it, it's been sitting in my garage at home for oh, a few years. I'm finally gonna use it. The other one I have in my other garage actually still works fine. So these are actually for eight, nine bucks. They actually last a long time. I'll give it that. These things work pretty good. And uh, the only other thing I got was today. So when I go grease the uh, front end on the thing, there's a couple fittings on, the, I believe it's the lower ball joints on uh, this car that are tucked in the rims. So you can't really use a straight, a straight style fitting to do those. I mean, you could pull the tire off and do it. I'm not going to go through any of that. So I got one of these that just slides in on an angle that you could slide it pretty much like this into the ball joint, tilt it a little and fill it right up. So we got that going, and uh, yeah, so let me get this cat on. Let me get this uh, new Pepcock. I'm going to lose a bunch of antifreeze, probably. That's all right. I got a, I got a half gallon left up here anyways. So yeah, we'll get the cat on first, and that, then we're moving on to the rear end fluid. That'll be the next time I turn the camera on. All right, Dina. Bye-bye. All right, we're back. I'm going to make a quick update here. Um, let's see. I'll take a look over here first. Collar converter's back on. We're good there. Not a problem. Radiator, junk. Um, you can't see it down there. But the drain plug is just pretty much all chopped up. I can't get it out. Only way I can get this plug out is if I remove the radiator. And believe you me, if I remove this radiator, this, uh, what, 37-year-old radiator is not going back in here. No. 
no no so what i did was uh said screw it left it like that hopped online i just ordered a three core aluminum radiator from amazon uh it's probably one of those chinese made ones or something but hey what are you gonna do it's 200 bucks uh i gotta wait a few days to get that in and we're just gonna put the whole radiator in. like i said i'm not pulling this radiator out just to get a plug out and then put this back in no way jose so we're done with that that's gonna have to wait a few days until i get the radiator in hopefully pretty soon uh, we're back here uh under the car let's take a look over here let me get down oh, i really could use a lift i'm getting old <laughs> well one good thing i noticed or i don't know if it's a good thing uh, i don't have a uh spare tire so there you go it's a little crunchy underneath here i'm going to definitely lube this up here and fix her up um next is let's take a look it looks like we got some leaks on this rear end i'm not about to pull this thing this whole, you gotta drop the whole rear now just to address this i'm just gonna clean it up and see what happens from there but yeah looks like it's original 40 year old you know never been messed with um, okay next let me get over here Oh, let me shut this off for a second. Let me get. It. All right, we switched over to here. Um, here goes the drain and fill plug right here. Um, believe it or not, I didn't have an Allen wrench that size. I got the size above it. I got the size below it, but I don't have that size. So I just put a pair of vice grips on it, and it came right off. So you don't even need an Allen wrench. Then a pair of vice grips will take that off. Yeah, has a limited slip tag on it. So, there we go. And I looked up the code in the uh, the RPO code for this car, and this has a 307 rear gear set up in here. So basically all I'm gonna do right here is, I already loosened it. I didn't take it out yet, but I loosened it. And by rights, if this thing's full, like it should be, um, you should have a little bit of a drizzle coming out of it. But something's telling me this was never a... Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so she's full. All right. I'm good with that. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? It's not as terrible as I thought it was. So, okay, that's a plus right there. Um. Okay, so let's... Uh, I got to suck all this out is what it comes down to. Uh, using the transfer pump. Let me go get that all set up and I'll bring you guys back just for a quick, uh, for those that never did this before. Basically, you're sticking a hose inside this hole right here and you're, uh, it has a pump, then another hose on the other side of the pump and you're just uh, pulling the fluid out. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, we're back. I have the pump right here. Tube goes in like that and pretty much you just pump away. And that's it. I really can't. Let's see if I can lean this camera up like this. All right, so you got some shakiness going on here. Sorry about that. I have no idea if that's catching it, but... All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds like Taco Bell. Aha, yeah, there we are. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? It smells like Taco Bell. Whoa. I got to say, this stuff is worn, this fluid. Oh, yeah. Come on, Taco Bell, get out of there. Hope you guys could see this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see if I move this a little over. Maybe that's getting it. I don't know. I didn't spend the money on the camera with the swivel uh, screen, so. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, this flew up a shot. I have to say, it's probably original. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of metal. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say shavings, but I could see the uh, silver metal in here. Ah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, way more than I thought in here. Oh, yeah. She's a gurgling. Oh, she's a squirter. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what I should have did was cut this hose shorter. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Let's see. What I need to do is lay something down on top of this. There we go. Ah, yeah. Alright fellas, she's empty. There we go. Put all that right there. Now I gotta use the same pump to fill it up. So let me go clean this all up and we'll be back. Oops. Yeah, we're just gonna take a look at the fluid real quick. A lot of discoloration in here, fellas. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the looks of that. I gotta say, this has never been changed. It's a good thing we're doing it. Ah, but it might be too late. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't have any symptoms of being bad, but... Um, it's something to keep in mind. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll keep this in mind, and then we, if we ever have a problem, we understand why. Yeah, that's why I don't like pumping out the uh, the rear end, uh, the differentials. This is why, because by rights, that needs to be opened up and cleaned up. I like to use brake fluid. Pull the uh, cover off, spray brake fluid on there, clean it up real nice, fill it up with fresh fluid. But we don't have that option in this case. I mean, what I could do is put uh, put some fluid in, drain it out again, and then put some more fluid in. But um, if there's any damage, it's already done, so there's nothing we can really do about it. I think we'll be okay, but yeah, that was pretty bad, though. I've seen worse with metal chunks and everything, and... Um, I don't see that here, but then again, we're pumping it out. All right, so uh, yeah, let's fill her up and uh, we'll call it a day here. All right, bye-bye. All right, we're back here. Um, let's see, in order to do this, let's see, it's hard to video this and do this at the same time, but we're doing the opposite of what we did before. We're gonna stick one end into the tube of Lucas here and the other end into the hole in the differential up here. And um, yeah, and that's it. We're pretty much gonna fill it up until it starts drizzling out like it did when I first opened the plug. And when there's fluid coming out, we know she's full. 
we'll button it up and that's it we'll be done so um yeah let me get on that i got a big mess underneath here oh, it smells great too <laughs> so there we go it's right up here we'll take care of this i got i got goo all over the place down here cats back up there that tube that went to the front of the engine, I removed that whole tube from the cat to up to there. So that's all done. And yeah, so yeah, that's it. Uh, let me get this filled up and then we'll do a conclusion. All right, bye-bye. All right, we're all back together here. All done. Uh, it's a little, I got a little bit of a mess down here. Ugh, let's take a look. Yeah. Working on your back never goes uh, nice and smooth and cleanly. Look at all this. All gear oil. Anyways, yeah, so we're all done here. Um, that's it. Rear end fluid change. It's easy to do. Anyone can do this. Vice grips work great. I even put the bolt back on with vice grips. So plenty of room to work with the vice grips, too. And that's it. I'm going to have to uh, do a little uh, undercoating here, it looks like. Do a little fluid film spray all this down i mean it's not rotted or anything but you could see it very well could start so we're going to clean all this up that's for sure uh, huh. yeah i'm guessing this might be the gas tank right here yeah no spare tire um yeah i was thinking these were the gas tanks right here like saddlebag style but that might be for the uh those two pouches are those two um, nooks in the back behind the seats. So that's what that's probably for. And then this is uh, probably the gas tank right here. All right, we're learning. So we'll get this all sprayed up underneath here. We'll do that. Uh, it's on the list. I got to wait for the radiator. So that's a few days. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, let's clean this up and we're done here. End of the video. So I um, hope this video helps somebody that's never done this before. Um, what I find it's better to do, this thing's hard to jack up. Uh, this time when I jacked it up, I used two hydraulic jacks. I put one on each, uh, one on right over here, and one in the front on these lips. You can see, you'll, you'll see the lips. And then I would just jack them up evenly until I was able to get one of these car ramps under the back wheel. All right, look at that. Just found a screw in my tire. How's that for you? <laughs> I don't think it went through. It's just in there. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to address that. I need new tires anyways. These are all cracked. Uh, but yeah, I jacked the car up uh, evenly. I'd go pump up this side, pump up that side enough. Then eventually it was high enough. I put the car ramp underneath here. And then I put the other jack stand on the front over here, let it down. Then I came over here and did the same to this side. So I'm thinking that's the best way to do this. Uh, these type of ramps you're not really going to back up on. All they do is slide. So if you jack them up, put them on here, it feels nice and sturdy and safe. I like it. So there we go. We're pretty good here. Just got to clean up a mess here and that's it. So I hope this helps somebody. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye.